So I'll close with this. Somewhere out there in America, in an urban area, in a rural area, there's some kid who doesn't have a dream of visiting a Yellowstone or the Grand Canyon or Zion because no one has told them that these places that exist. And the problem, or rather the solution, is all of us reaching out as I just did and making those connections for them. If it were up to me, I would drive to Oakland every day in a van and I'd grab kids and take them up to the national park. Now, I would be arrested for this and I would go to jail. But the, the thing that would be interesting about it is how the kids would say to their parents, but mom, it was fun. We saw the highest waterfalls in the world. I didn't know a waterfall could be that high. And we saw this rock. It was so big. It was so big. It looked like someone cut it in half. And it must have been God because it was so big. They called it Half Dome. Yes. Woo! And the fact that kids do not have that experience of being at the Grand Canyon and Zion and Canyonlands is tragic. Because childhood should be an experience of wonder. And when it's not an experience of wonder, who's at fault? It's the society that's at fault. And that's all I want. I want the kids, like the kid I used to be when I was growing up in Detroit, to stand at the rim of the Grand Canyon and realize right for themselves that there is something in this world that's greater than I am. That's all I want. And I think that's what you want too because we all work for the same group. We just committee for Green Foothills National Park Service. It's the same, the same effort. So thank you. I'm gonna stop now, which is really difficult for me. <laughs> I'm on medication. I cannot stop talking about this sort of thing, but I'm going to because I, I was told, do not wait until people are passing out in front of you due to the heat. I'd rather have you pass out due to inspiration. Nature's inspiration. <laughs>